him look like a different type of work from sound. Just explain what he's done this morning. Uh, he's just had a good warm up. He's uh, gone five home three, pulled up, had a little bit of a breather, and then done that again, but sprinted up the last bit. So it's something that Mike does with him quite a bit in Australia. Um, certainly work for, work for him when going into the zipping. So yeah, might see that's a good idea for him this morning. And he looked to be absolutely thriving out there too. Yeah, it just sort of saw you know I saw a little bit of different work from him this morning, and he he was a little bit unsure, um, but. He still works super and he looks fantastic at the moment. Yeah, has, has he done since we last saw him? Yeah, he's come on really good. Obviously, uh, he was a little bit big in condition going into um, the Herbie Dyke. Obviously, a little bit of a quieter trial than what we'd wanted, just circumstances. But look, he's come out of that. We've stoked the work into a morning and afternoon. He's a very, very fit horse. I know Cameron's super confident. Um, even mentioned the fact that uh, if he had his licence, he'd love to be on. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I mean you can take a lot of confidence, confidence out of what Cameron's saying, he's been on him in every gallop he's done so far. So, yeah. And he's back to that uh, 3,200 metres, is it his pet distance? To be honest, um, I don't know if it is, but you know it's the third time he's been over here now and I sure as hell has made sure he's super fit and um, you know, me and Mikey and Scott, we've been round the clock making sure that we've got the work into him, so even if it isn't, he's going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that you were looking for from, from you know the horse's point of view, it's there for the weekend? Yeah, really, I just think he's coming right at the right time. Like you can see him walking back in, he's nice and relaxed, but he's still got enough spunk in him, you know, when he's going out to work, he's really wanting to be out there. So, um, you know, we, we've done plenty with him. Certainly won't be going into the race short anyway, and uh, yeah, I think he looks amazing. Yeah, he does look great, and he's big and strong. Uh, what about this weekend? What, what can we hope for? The one. Hopefully the win, um, obviously the owners and that, it'll be fantastic, but you know, he's probably the class horse in the field, but there's some really nice up and comers coming through there, so certainly not going to be easy for him, obviously he's pretty good in the weights in the Auckland Cup, but um, you know, I just hope that he gets around safely, obviously he's a nine year old now, um, and it's been a huge effort keeping him sound through his whole career, and um, I think getting over here to New Zealand, galloping on the grass, he's just gone ahead another step, so hopefully uh, we can put it all together on Sunday. Could he go on to, to Sydney as he's done in past years? Uh, he's retired after the Auckland Cup. He's done a stellar job. Um, that certainly was the plan. Uh, he'll stand at stud, he'll get some mares. Um, whether that changes, I don't know, but um, this the Auckland Cup will be his last race. You want to see him go out on a <laughs> Hopefully we can do that. Created the sound.